two things you'll hear teachers say a lot. How do I stop this behavior or how do I get or make them do something else? So we want to get rid of that right now. All behavior is some form of communication. When a little baby goes, eh, 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 they mean pick me up. When they cry, it says check on something. All of a sudden when they get to be two and they go like this, we go stop it. But if all behavior is some form of communication, we need to hear it through the lifespan. So if a child throws something on the floor and starts screaming, they're saying, I don't know how to handle frustration. So then we need to help them with that. So all behavior is some form of communication. If we stop the communication, we miss what's going on with the child and we can't teach the missing skill. And you can imagine if they grow up without these skills, then we'll be shocked when they're 15, 16, and 17 doing something that we think, whoops, I wish you learned that when you were young.